in the different scoring zones. Team Lofeld maintained their good scoring rate and kept on piercing the field in order to pick up the bonus runs. After seven overs, their score was on 51 and growing all the time. Team KZN knew that they needed to take some wickets to halt Lofeld's momentum, but the batters were up for the challenge and kept on scoring runs. the last pair walked out on court for Team Lofeld, all they needed to do was consolidate their team score and not lose wickets. As Lofeld's innings was coming to an end, Team KZN found a bit of good fortune as they caused a wonderful run out to at least give themselves a glimmer of hope. As their 16 overs were bowled, Team Lofeld posted 101 runs, the highest score of any of the gold medal finals at the 2011 IPT at the Nelspreit Action Sports Arena. When Team KwaZulu-Natal's openers walked out to bat, they knew exactly what they needed to do, and that was to get their team off to a solid start as they went in search of 102 runs to take home the spoils at the IPTs. But knowing that you have to score quickly mostly leads to batters taking unnecessary risks, which leads to minus five runs for every wicket lost. In a match where you're chasing a target, it's vital to add those bonus runs for making contact with the side nets in the various scoring zones. But Team KZN seemed to struggle to find the gaps in the field as their low felt counterparts made sure of every stop. With a 33-run deficit after the first four overs, Team KZN were under serious pressure and lagging behind from that moment on. They were under pressure during every over, and as the deliveries went by, they knew the writing was on the wall and getting bigger and bigger. But things can quickly change around, but they needed some lusty blows and no more lost wickets if they were to turn this match round in their favour. With only five overs left, KZN still needed another 62 runs for the win, as Lofeld's under 30 started to believe that they would take home the gold medal. Despite Lofeld enjoying the upper hand, their sharp fielding meant that they kept up the good work which was done earlier on when they were at the crease batting. As the final ball was delivered, it was time for the under 30s from Lofeld to start with their celebrations as they managed to run out easy winners in the category after beating Team KZN in the gold medal final by 39 runs. Johan was on court and spoke to Lofeld's winning captain, Mornay Swart. Ja, het verleden jaar het ons uh, bijna naar weg gekomen, ons het hard gewerkt hierdie jaar. Um, so sport mag gaan, het het nie vir ons gegaan dat jaar nie. En um, ja, en ons het geweet en ons het um, extra hard gaan werk om, om klein goedjes recht te maak. Je weet goed wat eindelijk baie beteken in die game. En um, ja, en ons het, soos ek sê, ons het hard gewerk, fix het is recht en ja, ons het het doorgetrek in die einde.
well done to Team Lowfelt for going throughout the week of IPT cricket at the Nelsprate Action Sports Arena without losing a match. The bronze medal went towards Eastern Gauteng after they managed to outscore their central counterparts by 17 runs. As per usual, all the players and coaches made their way onto centre court for the official prize giving. After a long, hard week of interprovincial action cricket, this is the time for the players to enjoy the camaraderie and bask in each other's success. recap all those results again. In the boys' under-19 age group, it was Team Northern Gauteng who outclassed the rest of the teams to take home the gold medals. In the men's under-23 category, the undefeated Eastern Gauteng team took home top honours after they beat KwaZulu-Natal in their final by 48 runs. And in the men's under-30 group, it was Team Lofeld who took home the gold medal. Well done to the Nelspreit Arena for getting the IPT cricket season for 2011 off in such grand style. 2011 off in such grand style. Next month, we'll bring you all the action from the Junior Action Cricket IPT that was held at the Sanson Arena, with the other three tournaments taking place in Centurion, on the Garden Route and in Midrand. We'll bring you all those highlights right here on Supersport. The big one for 2011 is the Action Cricket World Cup, which will be held at the Four Ways Action Sports Arena from the 9th to the 15th of October. South Africa will be represented in all the various categories as they will compete against world champions Australia and teams from England and India. If you have missed any of the action or want to know more about our sport, simply log on to actionsports.co.za for all the arena information, news, latest results and upcoming events. Well, unfortunately, that's all we have time for. But join us again next month for more in the world of action sports. These are the rules of the game.